Hello everyone, in this video we'll be talking about Baishu from Genshin Impact in just a couple of minutes. Baishu is a 5 star dendro catalyst that specializes in providing healing and some shielding for your team. His normal attacks deal dendro damage because he's a catalyst that scales off his attack. His elemental skill shoots out a dendro snake that cruises and attacks nearby opponents, dealing dendro damage. After it performs 3 attacks or if there are no enemies nearby, it will return to your character and heal you. The damage scales off his attack and healing scales off his HP, cooldown 10 seconds. His elemental burst creates a state where it generates a seamless shield that absorbs dendro damage effectively, while in this state Baiju will generate a new seamless shield every 2.5 seconds. The shield will heal your active character based on Baiju's max HP and attacks opponents by unleashing spirit veins, dealing dendro damage when the shield regenerates or when it shatters, cooldown 20 seconds and energy cost of 80. His passives, first called Fives for Tunes Forever, Baishu gains effects according to the current HP of your active character. One when their HP is less than 50%, Baishu gains 20% healing bonus. Two when their HP is equal to or more than 50%, Baishu gains 25% dendro damage. His second passive called All Things Are of the Earth, when characters are healed by the Seamless Shield, they will have a buff where for every 1000 max HP that Baishu has, it will increase the active character's burning, bloom, hyperbloom, and burgeon reaction damage by 2% and their aggravated and spread reaction damage by 0.8%. And his third passive allows him to heal your on-field characters when they gather certain pickable items. In terms of leveling, you want to level his burst first because that's the main focus of his kit, then his skill and last his normal attack. Weapons. His best weapon is the craftable Catalyst Prototype Ember because it gives HP and some extra energy for himself and healing for your team. His 5 star weapon Jade Fall isn't good to pull for because it's basically the same thing and doesn't do anything necessary then just give him some extra damage. Artifacts. His best artifact set is the Dendro set which is great for Dendro related reactions. If you want him to be a pure healer then Maiden's Beloved is a fine second choice and a mix of 2 piece HP sets are also fine. Main stats for Sans you want to go for HP percentage because that's what his supported capabilities scale off. For Goblet you want to go for HP percentage and as well again for his circlet or maybe healing bonus for more healing. For substats you want to go for HP percentage and energy recharge. In case you are interested in his constellations his cons aren't that great except maybe his c4 where he increases em for your team for teams he is best used as a dendro supportive reactor where he is either the on-field or off-field driver for bloom related teams or he's a quicken support where he can apply constant dendro to the enemies to keep quicken active baiju is a good dendro support that can be a good healing support for your team when utilizing dendro related reactions even though he's not the best dendro support choice compared to nahito or yao yao and that his shield isn't meant to block damage because it is too weak but to have resistance to interruption when being an attack i think he is a fine choice if you are interested in him and that is it for the video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful subscribe to the channel for more content leave a like on the video check out my twitch for my live streams and i hope you have a wonderful day peace